Hello guys, welcome back to another one. Uh, today we are in the Bear Town, otherwise known as Congleton Town Centre. So shall we go and have a look? Let's go. Well, it's not very busy to start off with. Yeah, some uh, posh shops, guys. It's quite posh. Now, through here, you're not allowed to cycle through here. Um, the anti rammy bars. Um, and straight away, for our friend Donny, we have found a Greg's. And I'm just going to do something for, the, for Donny. Guys, big up the chicken bakes, all right? Hey, you are, Donny. I did that just for you. Donny is one of our subscribers. Um, yes, it's a very, another sort of old sort of town. Um, very nice. How are you feeling today, anyway, Julian? I'm good. You good, are you? I'm good. I'm enjoying the tootle about. And uh, I've just spotted Summit. Oh dear, taking a sign down there for Thomas Cook. Now that's an old sign just there. Um, let's get the shot of the the old. Oh, look at that. Oh, spud. Yes, spud stand. spud stand there, guys. Um, so we'll go down this part here. It's a very nice town, guys. Not very busy. Um, I just wanted a shot of the man there. There we go. Um, we'll just turn around, get this guy. You alright, mate? G4S guy here. I'll just uh, just follow him for a bit. I think the money guy. You're never getting in that box, are you? And there's his van up there. And um, we all know that G4S can park wherever they want. No matter if it's a pedestrian zone, there's no cycling. They haven't been allowed to drive down here though. Yes, he can't get down here guys because they've got the anti rammy bars. Um, yes, now Congleton is a place that we've not really visited. We've cycled through it, but we've never really um, visited Congleton. I don't think the G4S man was very happy that we were filming him, but he can't stop us. So we'll just get a shot of his old van here, guys. You can see that this is, it's not a road, it's a pedestrian zone, but he'll park here anyway. Anti-robbery system in use, 100% conviction rate. Oh, yes. Oh, well, there you go. 100% conviction rate. Oh, there you go. Anybody for a beer, guys? Anybody for a beer? Anybody for a beer? You all right, mate? You all right? Here we are, guys. Congleton Pound Plus. Oh, look at that. What's this? Roman Dally. Oh, look at that, guys. So that is not fake, that's actually real. Um, that is, oh God, I can't remember what it's called. Ham on. Ham on. Ham on. It's real, it's not plastic, it is real, it's what it is. Um, it's cured um, pork leg. That's what it looks, looks like when it's curing. Oh God, look at that there, guys. I wonder what she's looking at. Oh, I can see all that there. What are you typing in? That's a bit naughty, isn't it, guys? This is an estate agent. Um, we normally find that when estate agents, they never have the computer screens facing away from the public. Um, but look at all that there. I mean, I don't think it's personal information, but it's still information, isn't it? So, and look how long I'm going for here. Now, if I was a member of the public, I could get all in that system I suppose I don't know would I well there you go anyway um GDPR as we can see I can see the other ladies computer monitor as well um and this is Stevenson Brown 
Um, I don't think I would trust their, them with my information, would you? I certainly wouldn't. So just here, guys, is the, the Chronicle office. Now, the Chronicle office is the Congleton Chronicle, which is um, the, news, uh, the newspapers. Um, there's not really much we can see in there, to be fair, so it's not really very interesting. Look, over there, bloody crackheads everywhere. I'm not happy about it. There we go. I've just done a nice little shot there for Bear Britain audits. And there you are, a bear full of money. You know something, guys? A lovely little like flower bed. And look at all that. Why wouldn't you follow sort of that suit into there? I have no idea. Well, there you are, guys. Another bear there. And we're going in the Congleton Museum. Um, just going to have a quicky, sneaky, peeky aroundy. Um, as I say, everything's about the bear around here, guys, because this is obviously bear town. You can see the bears here. There's big geezer behind you. And then we've got, look, it looks just like BBA, that does. Lovely and colourful. LGBTQ colours. Big up BBA. Um, we're not going to go in, I don't think. Um, but yeah, this is just sort of the information that they give you. Um, yeah shall we we just get a couple of shots in there there we go up there nice nice so guys uh, we didn't go sort of go around the museum i didn't think it was uh, a might be kids in there something like that so you know but we are heading down to cheshire constabulus constabulatory constabulary constabulary Sorry, me words are cocking up again. Uh, and we're obviously, it's Congleton Police Station. Now I'm thinking that they might have an open reception. Um, some of the very few open sort of receptions. Um, just here, you can see we have the yellow phone. Um, there you go, guys, the yellow phone. The uh, closed um, PC. Um, yellow phone um, when the police station is closed please call 101 for non-emergency 999 for emergency or use the public contact point there we are the sign for Cheshire um, so this um, is actually closed guys uh, I can't see why look at that why is this not open another closed one We'll just look at all the information we can get over there and down here. And it's closed. Why is that closed? Um, yeah. No, we can't get in. We can't get in. Uh, Congleton help desk is now closed. There you are. The nearest police station to speak to someone face to face is at Macclesfield. Now that's at least 20 miles away from here. That's a. Uh, it's not good that isn't is it it's not good at all i don't think um yeah another closed one so guys we are walking down the side of the police station and here we go there we go that was a pcso not a uh, not a real police officer a pcso um but it was a money shot regardless and the gates are open so i'm pretty sure why is that woman sort of gone without waiting for the uh, gates to close um but yeah i'm gonna just wander up they've got a little camera there a little camera there um but yeah uh, plenty of cars in here guys so they're obviously they're obviously busy no unauthorized access uh, but i'm pretty sure that pcso should have waited until the gates are closed for it to uh, uh, move off um so we at least we call that one um i hate these little bars i do because i can't get a good shot but i can because i've got a secret weapon there you go guys secret weapon there you go multiple money shots multiple money shots um but i'm just going to step back a little bit guys because 
as you can see just around here right it's quite sort of tight so if anybody sort of comes in and i'm standing in there and um, it's going to be hard for me to move out the way um so and you know i could see him going oh yes shouldn't be there and all that shit because of that which i would be able to see the point so i'm just going to stay sort of on this sort of public path for now just see what goes on so guys i just noticed that a lot of these cars are ampr interceptors uh, for cheshire police um yeah it's just something like that i noticed we've got a lot of uh no we've got two riot vans just at the back there um and i think all these here are ampr interceptors um so yeah it's a bit of a bit of a rundown police station if i'm if i'm being uh, honest you know very old very 80s 90s would you say late 80s, late 80s early 90s sort of police station um but yeah a lot of cars in so what's baffling me guys is we come here and i was hoping that there was actually an open um sort of uh help desk because i wanted to ask the question or i've been waiting for a police officer to, to come out and sort of come to me and I'd be able to ask him why are all the receptions closed for the police stations i mean longton is one that's still open but apart from that there isn't really one open not even hanley is open and i thought that'd be a sort of a main place where your reception desk would be open for the police with you know hanley's a quite a big um got we've got quite a big crime rate sort of around there um but no um you're being watched out the window who, who's watching me so i'm being watched up there just up there guys just see this window here now it's mirrored so i can't qu quite clearly see unless i'm on sort of the angle um and i can i can just about make out a figure watching me out the window um but hey ho i'm on the public path they can't stop me can they um but yeah i just wanted to ask the question why are all the desk closed i mean there's probably an answer to it and we we, we all know it's going to be cutbacks but I want to get it sort of like a, from a police officer's sort of perspective why what do they think about it would it be easier for them to have the reception open or is it better that they don't have the sort of reception open I wanted a, a police officer's sort of um, opinion on that um, but no we they're not looks like they're not going to engage with us to be fair guys which is fair enough it's fair enough isn't it and, you know they have been sent a memo out saying don't engage with auditors vloggers cameramen stuff like that so if they don't engage then that's fair enough ain't it uh, you know i'm down with that it means they've read the memo which is what we all want to know have you read that memo sort of thing you know what i mean I just want to get a quick shot of this guys for my friend uh, Bear Britain Audits um, I'll put the name across the screen right now uh, make sure you give him a subscribe if you're not already subscribed uh, but it says Bear Grills Cafe and Bar Bear Grills Bear Britain Audit Grills <laughs> so here we are guys just at the library um, we are just here we've just come from there um, and we're going to have a walk around sort of all this if we can but it's nice to see a defibrillator box we always like to see them so we're going to go in and have a look is it open no it's not open guys there might be another way in so let's go and find it all right guys so we have found the entrance to the library um just going to take a good look around um welcome uh, there we go 
just some information for you there um, cool always good to see information on the boards um, so just down there guys there you go go in just have a quick flicky around I'm going to stay over sort of this part guys because there is kids in here too um, so you can come in and use the computers if you need to um, that's cool ain't it just lots of information available for us there which I like um, so that's good lots of information on the board here um, so that's cool I quite like that um, I'll have a wander down here we will um, yes like I said guys I've just got to be careful because there is a kids part in here um, yeah I'll wander back up um, yes so we uh, that's the library guys so guys something's a little bit different for you we're here at morrison's um which is all open um so i thought we'd have a wander down let's see how clean supermarkets are around the backs um not very is my answer to that so far um everything's sort of stacked sort of how it should be um got to watch out for this van here um, but yeah let's have a look now all this is Morrison's here and as we can see it's uh, all this paper and stuff around haven't we um, yeah cardboards and stuff now I know because I used to work for Morrison's that these are for things called shippers um, downstairs there um, I'm going to have a walk around here um yeah look at this it's not good for the environment this is it is it look at all this here i mean this is right it should be in these cages but all this on the floor you know you're looking um you're looking at having some rats aren't you um you know broken trolleys stuff like that you know it's not good is it you know you would think a big place like Morrison's would keep things clean with the amount of money they make um, loading area yeah I mean look at that I oh, shouldn't all this be in the recycled bin wouldn't you say or be there ready for be recycled I would say so um, yeah there's some cameras there you film me I film you uh, but yeah shit all really in it for, for a store like Morrison's you will think they keep things a lot cleaner and neater than this so and all this is Morrison's guys it's not another building it's all Morrison's um, so uh, yeah bit of a this is Morrison's Congleton bit of a shit all really so guys as we walk back through the centre we're on the opposite side there's a uh, postman pat um see so you have to park your bike up here guys and then you have to walk through you're not allowed to go through on your bike which is very unusual for a for a for a town center normally the uh, sort of um you know sort of uh, advertise that you can go cycling through the yeah. town center from what sort of we've visited got Indian spice here guys fancy glamour retro clothing um, well it looks like they're having some works done anyway um, we have leak building society um, all screens turned away from the public um, which is good but it seems very tight in there now if I was sitting in you know someone's at that counter and I'm sitting on this sort of desk talking to somebody. Would them on the counter be able to see the screen and what was going on in my account? Mm, seems like it would. So I think maybe some tweaks to that. And um, we have some works going on in this building here. Um, 
looks like it used to be some form of flower shop or something because i can see some like flowery bits at the back uh, so yeah that's cool um hairdressers francesco's posh place there's julianne eyeing up her stuff you're not having none i haven't got any money and we have a little tiny little flower shop here guys that's cool i like that hello you all right um mr sims sweet shop actually open still going where you can go and get yourself some sweeties um news agent um is this a news agent it says news agents at the shop um but it seems like more like oh it's fuji film printing center um some cool pictures here i like that i like this big one here it's nice um here we go when we're moving off we have another um salon here guys Vinny brennan salon um a boot cool so guys we're just popping down sort of a side street sort of place um i think this is the back of boots um nothing much in there um and we have spec savers uh yeah it's cool isn't it spec savers oh dear what have we got here dorothy perkins closed uh too let so dorothy perkins has gone uh probably can't keep up with the high street uh, with the online prices anymore we've got the original factory shop here in congleton um looks like a bit like a b&m really like its own version of b&m uh, yeah cool 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 so guys we're here with um nationwide um security man in there and um, i just want to see if there's any out facing screens which is not so i think that's pretty good um so that's cool you know you always got to check these sorts of things so you can report them haven't you so uh yeah i think they are okay they're cool 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 here we have a jewelry store guys now you always know i like to have a look at the watches now we have a random man there you know cool woman there i don't want to be filmed um yes yeah, just um, standard second hand jewelry really nothing popping out no rolexes um that's birch jewelers yeah nothing popping out so this here guys is now an hairdresser's but it was uh, as you can see on the little bit of architecture at the top it says post office so that was the old post office uh, which i think is cool you can tell sort of how old this town is by the look of the buildings i reckon this used to be some form of pub um piano pub free house it used to be um which i think is cool we're sort of coming into the sort of the older sort of part um now um which is cool what's this here herbal shop so it's a herbal shop chinese herbs chinese herbs cool i quite like that um shambali Ooh, well, right, look at that. Yeah, let's go and across and have a quick look at that guys because looks like they've got some very weird looking stuff in there my kind of shop your kind of hippie shop um what's in there um looks like they're doing it up guys they're doing that up um this building here is fucked looks like it's completely fucked uh, but yeah it's a, it's a very oldy worldy place around here sort of in the small of the center you can see how new it is the buildings are newer but on the outskirts you can see that like this building here 1896 that was erected <laughs> um so yeah so guys we have the counting house here um which is a Weatherspoons, so another architectural uh, place that's been turned into a Weatherspoons. Um, guy there just delivering some new gear to him. Yes, um, it's pretty cool, isn't it? It is pretty cool. Uh, we have a tattoo club, not a tattoo studio, 
but a tattoo club here called Black Swan. Um, cool, quite like it, quite like it. Um, Swan Bank Beauty House, Swan Bank Mini Market. Uh, yeah, cool, so there you go. So guys, as we move up, um, Swan Lane, I think this is called, uh, we see Rumba, um, uh, nightclub, would you say that is? I'd say so, or the bar. Another empty shop. Um, we see Hello Hair, and you see some lovely architecture again. Um, there's not as much architecture in Congleton as what I thought. Rambles here. Um, but it's not that what I wanted to film. It is the Lion and Swan. Now, many a times I've drunk in there. Uh, drank in there? Drunk in there? Drank? Drank in there? And um, it's a very, very nice pub. A recommended pub if you're ever in Congleton. Um, also, I've just noticed something else. Uh, with this house here, um, so I'm just going to take a quick peek at it, to be fair. Um, look down there, guys. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's a gorgeous old street, isn't it? You can imagine what it's like in olden times, in the, in the early, in the 1800s and stuff like that. I bet it was, I bet it was great, wasn't it? Um, so I'm just going to take a look at this, guys. Look at this. Now you can see, you can see that there's no windows in here. Um, very outdated house. Uh, hello! Definitely nobody in here. Um, crazy that, isn't it, guys? Crazy. Uh, yeah. Um, see if we can get a look in here. Move these nets back. Uh, I just don't want to cut myself on any glass or smash anything, you know what I mean? So I think I'm going to leave that, actually. Um, See if Julianne can do it. You can get a look back. There you go, the camera in there. There we are, guys. Oh, it smells. What? It smells. Quite cool, that isn't it, guys? Quite cool. So we just noticed something, guys, and that is these little signs that are hanging around. Not, not the cameras, not this cam, not this side. Well, that's on their height, eight foot. Um, but if we go back across the road I just got to watch it don't get run over we can see another one just here uh, just there 28.6 um, but if you look around the buildings you will see quite a lot of these signs there's one just up on the corner of that building there um, which is weird very weird so here we are again guys at another estate agents um look at that house there five hundred and fifty thousand pound um it doesn't look like the lowest oh that one there is almost a million pound crazy ladders can we see any screens facing no we can't that's good rent, oh my God. rent on these houses one thousand two hundred per month three thousand pound a month for that house there that that's is bad. five seven five for our terrace house yeah that's not bad six two five that's lovely yeah that's not bad not bad not bad at all i'll tell you what else isn't bad guys the fact that i walk around with a crackhead everywhere i go <clears throat> i'm not giving you any money 20 people <laughs> brew mate <laughs> Nice crack. Well, guys, uh, that's a. Uh, don't know what that house is. Uh, it's a set of flats now. Um, but uh, it looks like it might have been some form of stately home or summit. Maybe, maybe it could have been the old police office. Might have been the old police house. Can't see any oh, remnants the, the of, mayor of the town. Mayor of the town, something like that. Could have been something like that, I don't know, but it's cool. 
these buildings here guys they're very london looking don't you think very very london looking i'm gonna cross over um just see what they are um so we've got congleton eye care center um, congleton complementary and alternate medical center um and then all the other stuff that's on there but yeah very london looking buildings aren't they here we see guys we've got a nice old traditional cottage it's a gorgeous house that is number 44 gorgeous i like it so just here guys we have um the united reformed church of congleton um this is a very old nice looking building um eventually we are going to cross over and get to there um if this person lets us across which they have done um yes ribbons on there it's a really nice looking church we have tony there which is a baby probably this year's um pigeon um to see if we can get a look I'm, i don't know is it disrespectful if i go inside um i'm not too sure if it is or not i don't think it, no it's not open it's not open anyway but uh what we do find in the local churchyards of um Congleton is the crackheads they get everywhere don't they they get absolutely everywhere but it is it's a gorgeous gorgeous church so guys these ribbons all over here are prayer ribbons what you do you take a ribbon from the bag and you say your prayers and you tie it on for the church now I'm not religious as a rule but I'm going to do it so well, I know what me and Joe will pray for so one for me one for Joe You never know guys, your prayers might come true. Our prayers might come true. Um but yeah, I think it's a it's an excellent idea. It just gives people just a little bit of hope. Um a little bit of hope, a little bit of thought, something nice to do. Um I know Julianne's very um sort of would you say spiritual? Yeah, not religious spiritual. Not religious, but spiritual. So we just found an interesting looking street, guys. It's called Cross Street. And uh, look at all these old, shitey buildings. Old houses. Um, can't go in there. Can't go in. Can't get in. Yeah, oh look. This stone was laid in honour of Jane, James Greeley Esquire in July the 21st, 1909. 1909. Oh my god, there's another crackhead here. Have you just come out of that house? Yeah, mate. Look at the old windows. Nuts in it. It's a bit like uh, Short Street in. Uh, in Longton, guys, one of the most haunted streets in Stoke on Trent, apparently. Uh, but we're next to um, Cross Street Church. 1883 was erected. <laughs> yeah, but let's just take a look back at this street, guys. Nuts, that is, isn't it? Nuts how they've just been left to, to decay. You can smell the decay in the air as well. We're just coming towards the end of the street, guys, and this is, or well, what was, um, Jackson Hercules Cycles, and then it was the Electric Picture Theatre, um, which I've never seen anything like that before, uh, but now, obviously, it's nothing. So here we are on the other side of, the, would you call this a dual carriageway? Dual carriageway. We just again see the um, police station in the background. Sort of a, be a better shot than what I got before. Um, and as you can tell, it's very sort of late 80s, early 90s sort of building. And the reason why I thought I'd go back on and film it again 
was because can you just see in the distance the Union Jack flag now what, now what really irritates me is why wouldn't you maintain that flag? You know what I mean? That flag, our Union Jack flag, should be flying high. Full mast. It should be full mast flying high all the time. But obviously, uh, they don't give a fuck. So we've just come across this guy's and the guy has sort of made like a little community place for these guys around here. Um, because I think it's sort of like residential home or something like that and he's called it Disco Dave's um, so obviously they go in there and have like a little drink and a little disco um, just like the residents which um, I think is definitely something I have never seen before but definitely something I think is quite cool <laughs> well guys a little uh, tool hire place there um, they must be the smallest diggers I have ever seen. Uh, well, I won't mind a go. Uh, we've got like a, I think that's is a chipper here. Is that a chipper? Yeah, that's a chipper, that is. Oh, wow, that's a chipper, that is. Cool, though. Cool! Here we go, guys. Money shot. Got the money shot here. We got a money shot. Money shot. Hey, what is shot? How many times did I say that? Money shot. Oh, guys, this is the antelope. Um, I'm pretty sure this used to be called the Bear Town Tap, uh, which I was heading here to film, but it's no longer called the Bear Town Tap. It's called the antelope. Um, oh yeah, that's just what it is now, isn't it? But it's a nice looking building. Now that. It's a scary, witchy-looking house, isn't it? Can I have it? Um, I would live there, guys. I don't know about you, uh, but it's very witchy-looking, isn't 1671. it? 1671. 1671. Um, you go down in it there. My God, it's nice to see him though. Flying the Union Union Jack high. That's cool. Here we are, guys. Congleton oat cakes oh and pikelets. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think we're going to nip in there and get some oatcakes. For dinner. <laughs> For dinner. This looks like one time it was a big grand house, eh, guys? It's in state of disrepair now. Um, but about in its day, they had some important people living there. Maybe even had their own servants. Cool. A little bit of interesting info for you on this big house here, guys. So, it's Bradshaw House, site of John Bradshaw's house, demolished 1820. Bradshaw, 1602 to 58, was president of the court which condemned Charles I to death. And look at that door knocker. Yeah. That's how old that is. Yeah, cool that is. So, I just wanted to get a shot of that door knocker, guys. Wow, that's cool that is. See if we can just have a look in the window. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. So guys, we just hit um, the memorial here, uh, the memorial, non-UK service personnel who lost their lives in the flying accidents of the co in the Congleton area. Um, yeah. You go right up to 2007. Yeah. So that's really, really nice, guys, it is. Really nice. It's nice to see things like this. I like things like this, I do. And there we have the oldie King's Arms. Guys, now that is an old looking pub. Look how crooked that is. <laughs> Crazy that is, isn't it? Nice. Now I don't exactly know what this building is. Um, we're gonna have a look at them in, guys, but I just wanted to show you the outside and the sort of the architecture of the building. Um, I think that's fantastic, I do. Great. There we are, guys. Some more bear. Bears there. Another bear there. This is actually the town hall. Um, which is really quite creepy, actually. Can't go in. So I'm just see if I can... There you go, guys. It's like a bloody castle inside, isn't it? Like a castle. It's cool. I like it. Pity we can't go in. Because it would, it would be nice to have a look in there, but... Um, 
I can't because it's closed. But yeah, it's a. Uh, it's cool, isn't it? Just cool. Audit report, that is. A what? An audit report from. Oh, look at that. Water. External audit report. Oh, look at that. Uh, external audit report. Has BBA been down here? Hey, up now, nah, they passed. We can see there, guys, the two lycra people don't care about the rules and they're going cycling through the town centre anyway. <laughs> Holding the gold and so gold, it's so golden, yeah, golden post box. So guys, as we walk back through the town centre, um, we're about done here. We've had a good look round. It's not a very busy town. It is quite a, quite a small town and I think it appeals to a certain sort of people, if you know which area I'm going on. Um, but very nice very very nice experience um very nice people uh, maybe a few strange looks <laughs> but a uh, few strange people but you know you get that sort of everywhere but everybody's been accepting uh, of us recording so you know that's a, a pass that's a pass um so anyway guys we hope you've enjoyed this uh, vlog of Congleton Town Centre and uh, don't forget to hit us with the thumbs up button because um, that always helps us um, yeah, and we will, will see you on the next one